Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to invoke one Oracle Cloud function from another. I have already created two functions. They are hello world function and invoke hello world function. Hello world function will act as a child and uh, invoke hello world function is the function which will call this hello world function. So this will act as a parent. In order to make a call to any function, we need to have this policy. Suppose uh, we have created a dynamic group like how we discussed in our previous video. There must be a dynamic group. The condition for which is any function which is part of a particular compartment will belong to the dynamic group which we created that is functions group in our case that is to use fn invocation in compartment wherever our function to be invoked is residing that we have to provide over here let's first walk through the code first i'm opening this hello world function that is child function so this is the basic boilerplate code only difference is i have modified this default message default name that is oci function apart from this this is the exact boilerplate code which you get by writing that init command I am here in the postman. Let us first check this function by calling from this client. Okay, I am getting the message that is hello uh, learning. Uh, that is exactly what this returns hello and the name. Now let me minimize this and expand this function to be invoked. Okay, so this is the function which will invoke our hello world function. Here uh, at the time of calling our uh, function that is hello world function. In this case, I have written a separate Python function. So these are the prerequisites for making a call using this function invoke client uh, you can find the documentation for functions invoke client uh, over here in the python sdk the link for which i have already shared in my previous videos please check out the link for more details along with the signer config we have to send the service endpoint in this case i am using the configuration parameter along with that we have to pass the oci function OCID. so with those details uh, we will be able to invoke our function okay uh, by passing the function id in the invoke function operation that is by using invoke function we need to pass the function id that is nothing but the function oc and the body body in this case will be the json like we have seen uh, this we have to pass to our hello world from our invoke hello world function the json message will be input for our hello world function okay i will show you how it looks like from gen uh, from postman in case if we does not pass any json input then uh, i am constructing a default message over here name is uh, invoke hello world function I am here in the postman that is for uh, hello uh, invoke hello world function. The input for this is this is JSON input, okay, uh, where I am passing uh, the JSON message for hello world, okay, uh, wherein uh, our hello world is expecting a name to be passed. In this case, I am passing that OCI learning. So, we in response, we should get a message uh, in a JSON as well that is message hello OCI learning. Suppose, in case if I am passing this as empty that is null let's see what response we will get we are getting we are getting hello invoke uh, hello world function uh, that is the default message uh, what i have written over here uh, invoke hello world function uh, like this we can make call from one oci function to another with the help of this functions invoke client module if you face any issue while making a call just make sure you are having a policies in place with the right access that is to use fn invocation thank you for joining us in this video